Thanks for watching Live at 5. I'm Mike Tang. And I'm Dana Winkle-Pleck. Well, you might remember previously mm -hmm. we told you about Farm Rescue helping the Noblet family of Palestine plant their spring crop. Well, Farm Rescue was back in Palestine helping another family farm with a huge milestone. Jen Thompson has the latest on that. I'm here in Palestine, Illinois, this time on the Piper family farm. Farm Rescue is here helping harvest the family's wheat crop and celebrating their 1,000th family served. Now we can refocus at the next stage of rebuilding my house, uh, the farm sheds, and hopefully the farm can kind of move forward and eventually <laughs> go back to normal. <laughs> Let's take you back to March 31st. An EF3 tornado tore through Crawford County, Illinois. We waited until we could tell the barometric pressure changed big time by the pressure on your ears. And within seconds of that happening, we slammed the door and covered the kids and waited waited the tornado out. With Several homes and farms destroyed, including the Pifers. Our entire farm sheds were completely collapsed. We did have a single building still standing and it was on top of all of our equipment so we were ready to start uh, the planting season and we realized we had not a single piece of equipment in springtime that we could use. That's when Farm Rescue, a nonprofit organization, came to the Pifers Rescue. It was a huge relief stress-wise uh, to know that we had them willing to come help us take some of that burden off of us. With sponsors like John Deere and Nutrien, Farm Rescue rushes in in a farmer's time of need. Farm Rescue reminds all of us of the importance of every single farm family, including those here in eastern uh, Illinois. In addition, we love Farm Rescue because it reminds us of the power of the opportunity of working together for the common good of people who are particularly in need. Farm Rescue, once a dream of Bill Gross, now serving a thousand families and counting. I come from a family farm and, and wasn't able to continue uh, that farm. Uh, my parents didn't have the resources to help me with any land or equipment and so I went on to become an airline pilot. My heart never left the farming community. Critical for our world supply of food and fuel. The passion behind Farm Rescue. Reporting in Palestine, I'm Jen Thompson. Good story, good effort there.